The Tall Volcano uh, initially erupted on January 12th. The Tall Volcano is located 70 kilometers south of Manila. Since then, it has continued to actively erupt. We've had over 800 volcanic earthquakes that have been recorded by the Philippine Volcanology and Seismology Institute. Hazard level raised by the government remains at four, which means that there is a potential for an imminent massive eruption at any given time. The government is actively evacuating those that live within the 14 kilometer danger zone that has been um, set by the government of the Philippines. So right now the government's response is very focused on evacuation and ensuring that people do not return to the danger zone that has been set by the government. Currently within the 14 kilometer danger zone that's been set by the government, there are approximately a half a million people living. We know that of those that have evacuated, over 100,000 are in evacuation centers that are set up throughout the Batangas province. There are more than 300 evacuation centers set up right now, uh, housing over 100,000 people. The Philippine government is leading the Tall Volcano Emergency Response. They're doing an excellent job, first in evacuating people, and second in also getting information out there to the people. Uh, right now, it's critical that people do not return to that danger zone within the 14 kilometer radius. The evacuation centers are being very well managed by the local government units. There's been an outpouring of assistance to these evacuation centers with food, non-food items, clothing, water. Um, we have to continue to ensure that these evacuation centers are well equipped and have the sufficient um, uh, resources that they need to function. We could, we're potentially looking at a very long-term situation. We just don't know with the volcanoes whether there will be an imminent eruption or the eruption will happen you know, in the future. So these evacuation centers, we need to continue to pay attention to them and ensure that they have a sufficient amount of food, water, electricity, and supplies, sleeping mats, clothes for those that are within the centers. The resilience of the Filipino people continue to amaze us all. And for example, rather than just taking the volcanic ash and brushing it aside, they've actually created bricks out of a combination of volcanic ash, the plastic and other trash that they have you know, had problems with disposing of. So they've really done an amazing job of um, being very resourceful and taking this volcanic ash and doing something useful um, and environmentally um, sustainable out of it.